Okay guys, uh, this lesson is combine place value to subtract. So we're just showing you different ways to use subtraction skills. So we, we started doing uh, estimating subtraction and then uh, in lesson uh, 9 we did mental math strategies for subtraction. The last lesson we did uh, place value to subtract and so this one's combining place values to subtract. Okay, don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, mrmathlog.com. Okay, and then so there's our common core strand and our essential question is how can we uh, use the combined place value strategy to subtract three digit numbers? So again, this is just an, another way to subtract numbers here. So here's an example. A youth group earned $431 washing cars. Last year they earned 227 fewer dollars than this year. How much did they earn last year? Okay, so what do we need to find? Well, we need to find this question right here. How much did they earn last year? And then let's circle the numbers we're going to use. Well, those are the only two numbers we're going to do. We're going to end up subtracting those two numbers here. So we're going to do com uh, the, the combined place value strategy and find their difference. Difference means subtract. So here we go. Subtract 431 minus 227. Okay, always let's estimate, you guys. 431 is close to 400. 227 is close to 200. 400 minus 200 is going to be 200. So we should get an answer around 200. Okay, so there we go. We just slid it up. So let's look at the ones, the ones place right here. 1 and 7 right here. Well, since the bottom number 7 is greater than 1, the top number, we're going to combine place values. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the tens and the ones. So here, there are, we're combining these tens and these ones and these tens and these ones. These tens and these ones gives us 31 ones. Here we have 27 ones. So now we can go ahead and subtract the ones, okay? So 31 minus 27 is 4, and we write a 0 for the tens place. So here's the 0 right here. 31 minus 27 is just 4. And then uh, we're going to put a 0 for the tens place right there because there were no tens. It was just four ones left over. 31 ones minus 27 ones gave us four ones with no tens or zero tens. Okay, so subtract the hundreds right now. Okay, so now we just do four minus two. 400 minus 200 is two. Okay, so the youth group earned $204 last year, and that's close to our 200 uh, estimate right there, so it seems like a reasonable answer. Okay, all right. Uh, explain why there is a zero in the tens place right here. Why do we place that zero right here? Well, remember we did 31 ones minus 27 ones. It gave us four ones uh, with zero tens in there. So there, you had to put the zero in there for spacing. Okay. All right. So subtract uh, 513 minus 482. Okay. Our estimate, you guys, we're going to round it to the nearest tenth right here. 510 minus 480, okay, this is 10 on, on top of 500, this is 20 below 500, so 10 plus 20 is 30, so the difference between those is going to be 30 right there. So let's go ahead and subtract the 1's. Here we can go ahead and subtract, since 3 is greater than 2, 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay, now we're going to look at the 10's. 1 uh, is not greater than 8, okay, so look at the 10's place right there. Since uh, the denominator, not the denominator, since the bottom number is bigger than the top number, 8 is greater than 1, we're going to combine place values. So we're going to combine the hundreds and the tens. So this is um, uh, going to be 51 tens. This is going to be 48 tens right there. Okay, so there's 51 tens and 48 tens. So we'll go ahead and subtract uh, the tens. 51 minus 48 is 3. So there's going to be a 3 in the tens spot right there. So the answer is going to be 31. Okay, nice and easy. And look, that's close to our estimate of 30 right up there. Okay, so um, uh, example, we're going to uh, combine place values to find 500 minus 173. This one's a little harder. You'll see why in just a second here. So estimate, you guys, 500 minus 175. Well, let's think about this, you guys. A friendly number close to 175 that ends in zeros is 200. So if we added 25 to that, I'd get 200 right there, so let's add 25 to that. So we'd have 525 minus 200. That's a little easier to see. That's going to be 325. Well, that's going to also be 325 right there. So we just added 25 to both of those, and when we subtract, we get the same difference. Okay, so our answer is going to be somewhere in between that. Okay, let's look at the ones in the tens place right there. Okay. All right, 3 is greater than um, uh, 0, and here 7 is greater than 0. So what we're going to have to do is combine 
all the way back to the hundreds. We're going to combine the hundreds and the tens. Okay, so there are 50 tens right here. 500 is the same as 50 tens right there. Okay, so we're going to regroup the 50 tens as 49 tens and 10 ones. So we're going to change this 50 tens as 49, and this is going to be 10 ones right there. Okay, so there we go, 49 and 10 ones. Now we can subtract, you guys. We can subtract the ones now. So 10 minus uh, uh, 3, here's the... Here's the 10 minus 3 is 7. Okay, 10 minus 3 is 7. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and subtract the 10. So 49 minus 17. Okay, 49 minus 17 is going to give us 32. Okay, so that's 327, which is close to our estimate of 325. So 500 minus 173 is 327. Sorry, I shrunk it up a little bit, and then so I can I can write that in right there. Okay, uh, so explain why we combine the hundreds and the tens. Okay, well back here when we had this right here, in the ones, the, this, the, here it is, I wrote it bigger here. So this 3 was greater than 0, and in the tens, this 7 was greater than 0 also. So we had to go back and all the way back and combine this as 50 tens, combine the hundreds uh, with the tens. So instead of it being 500, we treated it as 50 tens, then we changed it to 49 tens and then these 10 ones right here so we can subtract so a little bit more labor uh, math labor involved on that so all right so here let's find 851 minus 448 in two different ways so let's estimate here 850 minus 450 is just going to be 400 so our answer should be close to 400 here so the last lesson we did place value subtraction okay so we're gonna go ahead and look at the ones right here okay so let's look at the ones since um, uh, one is less than eight we're gonna regroup we're gonna change this five tens and uh, one ones as uh, four tens and eleven ones right there remember that trick right there okay now we can subtract so we can do eleven minus eight is three and then uh, 4 minus 4 is 0 right there, okay? Then we can go ahead and subtract the hundreds now. Let's go ahead and subtract the hundreds. 800 minus 400 gets us 400 right there, so 8 minus 4 is 4. Okay, so we get 403 by using place value. Let's do our the lesson we just did by combining uh, combine our place value. So here, 1 is uh, still less than 8, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to combine the tens and the ones. So this 5 tens, 1 ones. We're going to make this as 51 ones, and we're going to make this as 48 ones, okay? So we're going to go ahead and subtract 51 minus 48 is 3, and then we write a 0 for the tens, because there's only 3 ones left over and 0 tens. So there we go. And then we now we subtract the hundreds, and when we subtract the hundreds, we get 4, okay? I think this way is much easier if if um, uh, the top number is our top combined number of 51 is bigger than our combined number on the bottom of 48 right there so we get 403 in both ways right there okay all right so uh, what is the combined place value strategy uh, when is the combined uh, place value strategy make it easier to find the difference and explain okay when the top number when the top combined number which in here is 51 is larger uh, then the bottom combined number of 48 and especially when they're they're close to each other it's, um, The combined strategy works really well because then 51 minus 48 is 3 Okay, don't forget the 0 for the tens right there, and then you can do 8 minus 4 right there Otherwise, I would do um, the place value subtraction. So well, how about this one? What uh, strategy should we use to find uh, 431 minus 249? Okay, so here this one's going to go on top right there, and this one's going to go on bottom right there. So since 31 is less than 49, uh, the combined place value strategy uh, isn't going to work. Well, it'll work fine. We just have to go all the way back to the hundreds and make this 431 right there, and then we'll have to borrow from that. So place value subtraction, the last lesson would be easier. Watch, I'll show you here. So we're going to go ahead and change uh, this 3 tens and 1 ones to 2 tens and 11 ones, and we can do 11 minus 9 is 2, and then we can do, uh, we're going to change this uh, four hundreds and two tens to three hundreds and twelve tens right there and then when we do the three hundred and twelve tens twelve minus four is eight and then three minus two is is one so we get a hundred hundred eighty two all right you guys i hope that video makes sense and and take care hope you're having a great year